Hey everyone, this is Derek here, and if you're watching this video, then you're probably getting this dreaded network error while trying to play PUBG Mobile on your iPhone or iPad. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a VPN, or Virtual Private Network, that can often fix this issue and get you back on the battlefield. If this video helps you out or you learn something, please give it a thumbs up so others can find it, and consider subscribing to this channel for even more PUBG Mobile content. All right. So how exactly can a VPN solve your network error issues? Well, the error in many cases is caused by issues with PUBG's mobile servers and how they interpret something called DNS, or Domain Name System. You can think of DNS kind of like a giant translator that converts the web addresses we're familiar with, like Google News or Facebook, into the numerical addresses networking equipment and servers work with. We care about this because a VPN changes what the PUBG mobile servers see by acting as a middleman of sorts, whose job it is to take data from you and then pass it on to the PUBG mobile servers. You see, without a VPN, you're sending data directly to the PUBG mobile servers and receiving data back from them, except this isn't working correctly because you're getting a network error. And with a VPN enabled, you send data to the VPN server, which works, and then the VPN server sends data to the PUBG mobile servers, which also works, and then the reverse happens to get data back from the servers. This will add some latency, however, I'd personally rather play with a slightly higher ping than look at an error screen all day. And another potential cause of the network error is because you live in a country or region where the game hasn't officially released yet. And because the servers know where you're from based on your IP address, they won't let you play. A VPN also works here because you can select a VPN server from a country that support it, like the US, and route your data through that server. The PUBG mobile servers then think you're from the US and will let you play. So how do we download and set up a VPN? Well, you can configure one manually, however, downloading a free app is honestly a lot simpler and should work just as well for our application. So let's go to the App Store, and let's go ahead and search VPN. And you can use any highly rated free or paid one. However, for this video, I'm going to be using um, Hotspot Shield VPN and Wi-Fi Proxy. Now, I'm not affiliated with them or anything. Um, it just looks like they have fewer one-star reviews than the other highly rated ones, and it's free. So let's go ahead and download that one now. And once the download finishes, we'll launch the app, and I'll be right back with you. Alright, so the VPN finished downloading, so let's go ahead and launch it. We'll let it launch, and we'll see what happens. Now, I don't care about VOIP calls to other countries, and if I start a 7-day trial, I'll probably forget about it and end up paying for it for a few months, so we'll X out of that. And the premium, let's see if we can find, we'll just X out of that too. Alright, so now the next step is to actually connect. And we're going to do that by pressing the button right here, right in the middle of the screen. So, some more information on how VPNs work, we'll X out of that. Now it says, would like to add VPN configurations. So you have to do this because this is going to uh, access your settings to actually configure the VPN. So we'll go ahead and do that now. You see it takes me to settings. I have to enter a touch ID to confirm. Um, and now it should be connecting. All right, so now we've connected. And you can see here that the server location is US. Now you're going to want to use a server uh, from a country that is close to you and supports PUBG Mobile. So for me, I'm in the US already, but um, for the sake of this video, let's pretend we're from a country near the US that doesn't support PUBG Mobile. So I'll use the United States server. Now that the VPN app is connected, you're going to want to make sure PUBG Mobile is closed, so it's opening fresh. Now this probably isn't necessary, however, we'll do it just in case, as we don't want the program to get confused and error out because the connection changed. So let's go ahead here, and uh, we will bring up the app switcher, and PUBG Mobile 
was running. So we'll go ahead and close it just like that. And now we'll go ahead and launch it again. All right, assuming you can get into the game now, the last step is to make sure you're selecting a PUBG mobile server that's closest to the VPN server you're connected to to ensure latency is no higher than it needs to be. Now because I'm on a US VPN, I'm going to also make sure that I'm connecting to the America, North America server. And you can see that's the one with the lower latency, so we'll go ahead and do that now. And like I said, depending on what country you're using a VPN server from, that's going to determine what uh, server you're going to want to play on for the lowest latency. And that's basically it. Now I know this won't solve the problem for everyone, however I do hope it works for a good number of you. If the game still isn't working, then you'll most likely have to wait until it's updated um, to 0.4.0 or 0.5.0 for it to work properly, because that's going to be a major update that solves a lot of these issues. And for more details on that update, as well as a ton of other PUBG mobile content and news and update stuff, be sure to check out my other videos and consider subscribing if you haven't already so you don't miss out on anything. So thanks for watching this quick video tutorial, and I hope to see you on the battlefield soon.